Hello beautifuls, hello handsome, thank you guys, I welcome you back to Lepsy TV. If you just stop in by for the first time, please subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for the love, I really appreciate it, please don't forget to hit on the like button guys i really i really appreciate it all so guys today i'll be showing you a different method on how to prepare kununzaki this kununzaki is very nutritious guys and it's gonna taste like milk like um kunu aya yeah like kunu aya for those of you who say they don't like kunu how to they don't like taking kunu guys this is a different method this is um millet granite and soya beans guys you soak it from morning till evening for at least 10 hours yes before washing so after soaking it, what you will do next is make sure you wash it thoroughly, like really, really wash it to make sure you remove all the sand and dirt. So as you can see here, washing it for the second time, the water is still dirty, yes. So you're going to wash this so millet, granite and soya beans for like yeah. four to five times. Just make sure the water is clean before doing anything else. So guys, I didn't add the tiger knot here because I want to wash it separately. So to be able to remove all the sand in it. So I washed it separately. I added it to, as you can see, I'm just adding it here to the mixture. That's the millet, soya beans, and granite, guys. So... I added ginger too and some I don't know if it's chili pepper they call it over. I don't know if you can see the pepper here. So I added a little of it so that spicy taste can come out. And then also clove. You can add clove so you can have this nice scent guys. So after all of this, next thing is just take it for grinding. Yeah. The industrial grinding machine. Just take it there. To grind everything to smooth then after that you bring it home <laughs> and guys you're not gonna um, add hot water to all of it no this is a different method so the hot water is go you're going to divide the mixture that's the paste into two like two guys into two places okay then you add your hot water into one after that you turn mixed make sure everything is mixed then after turning you don't have to wait until it gets cold like the normal one you use um dunkley that sweet potato guys no so you just add your second half that's the other half that you didn't add hot water yeah, to it. yeah. it's simple right it's just like preparing um, pap yeah akam. it's so simple like it's not difficult so you just add the second mixture to it like almost immediately and mix everything together after that you turn So after that, you just leave it till the next morning because it's already late. So we have to let it get cold. And then after it get cold, guys, the next thing is... Mm. Guys, please make sure you divide it into two, like equally, into equal parts. Not that you add one more than one no if not you're not gonna get that taste that's um that's milky taste in it like everything is gonna get done that's ex especially if you add the hot water 
own more so it's going to get everything will just get done and the taste won't come out but this way i assure you that your kunu is gonna come out very milkish sweet and nutritious yes, guys <laughs> So guys, this is the next day and all you have to do is just filter it, yeah, filter it and drink, like don't add much water so it won't be all watery, I know you wouldn't want to drink it, um, have it all watery, so all you do is filter add sugar if you want to, to taste and enjoy so guys please if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and share and please don't forget to subscribe if you're just stopping by for the first time i love you guys Yeah, someone bookshop. <laughs>